This week has brought all my training to a climactic high point of potential validation. When I got this Molly Mule six weeks ago, she was wild and basically untouched. It was a major challenge just getting her loaded. It took me four days before I was able to touch her. I worked her in the round pen for three weeks and finally got a saddle on her. I focused on gaining her trust and moving slow. The process was more and as much about me gaining control over my own fear. And oh yeah, the best part is I've never done this before. Fueled by a desire to get deeper and stay longer in wild places, for the last six weeks I've been breaking this basically right, untouched boys, mule. There's a lot of good things going on for training this mule right now. You guys kind of scared just a little bit. So y'all watch my eyes when she comes by. I'm just staring at her front shoulder. And then watch this. Watch this. Did you see me? I, tur I turned my shoulder back. And then she turned right towards me. Yeah. We're going to get a little training right here. I've committed to working with this mule almost every day since Walk February 2nd. She, We've worked in the rain. We've worked but in the snow, we've worked at night, and we've done whatever it took. I've got this barrel in here, and I'm going to try to get her to jump it. What I've done is I'm moving the barrel closer and closer to the fence and trying to get her to run in between the barrel and the fence, which is a challenge for an equine animal to be squeezed and forced to do something. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna cinch down a little bit here. Come on, come on, nope. Now she's gonna start giving me trouble and I ain't gonna take it. Come on, come on, come on, nope. You do that, it's gonna be hard. Good, good, good. See, now that was easy. Make the right thing easy and the wrong thing hard. Good. There you go. Good. Nope. Nope. I may have messed that up. I bet she won't do that again, though. No. If she does, I'm going to get her even harder. Good. Okay, she just learned that I whack her when she does the wrong thing. When she does the right thing, I'm happy. Good. Yeah, see, that's not too hard. It's not hard to do the right thing. It's just a little bit scary sometimes. Now I move the barrel directly on, against the fence on, so now. she has come to now. jump. Come on now. Good, yeah. Good girl, yeah. There we go. At a girl. At a girl. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good girl. Good girl, that's exactly what I wanted her to do. See. It's March the 6th. We've had this mule since February the 3rd or 2nd. And uh, I'm starting to tie some stuff on this mule's saddle. Got a saddle on her. And I'm trying to get her used to just anything that could happen. I've got all this stuff in this round pen because horses and mules are so scared of just random things. Okay, now she's just going on point. That's good. I've got this bigger saddle on her. I started off with a really small, cheap, little light saddle. This is a much heavier <coughs> mule saddle, specifically made for mules. I've been leaning on her and putting weight in the stirrups for several weeks, preparing her for when I finally crawl on her back. I've intentionally not been in a hurry. The validation, if I've done it right, will be in how she responds when I finally climb on. Will she buck or will she trust me? I was intentionally moving slow when it came to getting on her back. A negative experience at this stage could lead to difficult problems in the future. I wanted this and needed this to go right. 
so I took my time. I didn't get entirely on her back, but this was the first time that I had put all of my weight on one stirrup. Well, we'll see how she acts, but uh, I'm planning on getting on her today. This is, the, this is the day we've been waiting for. I tell you what, it's funny what your mind does. I'm constantly thinking about getting on her back. When I'm out here training her, when I look out the window and see him out here, I'm constantly thinking about what it's gonna be like to be up on her back when I'm fully committed on her back. Because once you throw that leg over, there's no going backwards. For the last several days, I've been, uh, I've been putting this mule up pretty close to the fence. Where I can kind of hold her a little bit, mainly just to keep her from moving, because she's uh, she's wanting to move on me a little bit. Easy, easy, easy. She's just wanting to move a little bit. And I'm gonna come over here, do that. So. Just letting her know that that's okay. Guess you gotta be ready for anything on a deal like this. Yeah, good girl, good girl. I'm on her, so now I'm gonna just get off of her. All right. Well, that was a success. That was a success. Now I'm gonna just get right back on her. I'm coming over. I'm coming over. Easy. 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 Good. Good girl. Good girl. Yep. Good girl. Move around. Let's get a little movement. Let's go. Whew. Man, I shouldn't have drank so much coffee this morning. My heart's racing. Oh, she can't sense that. The heightened sense of awareness you feel when you're in a situation like this feels almost superhuman. I don't think the human experience is fully lived until you've been on the back of an animal like this. Humans have been taming equine animals since the dawn of time, and it feels good to touch something so primitive. Come on. Come on. The deep sense of accomplishment that I felt when I got on her back and she didn't buck was hard to describe. I stuck to the plan and it worked. It might have been a more exciting story to say that she bucked and I rode her out, but I'd rather have done it right, been patient, and gained her trust. In the long run, she'll be a better partner because of it. We didn't have to get rough with this mule to do anything with it. We were, took it real slow. And, but this is a big milestone. Me just being on her back, she's calm. 
And hey, this is a success. This is a big success for me. For the last six weeks, all I've thought about is getting on the back of this mule. And now here I am. They say mules are the most difficult equine animals to train. I never trained a horse or a mule before, and I really didn't have a ton of experience with either. The process of breaking this mule has changed me. I've accomplished a goal that I would have seen equivalent to traveling to the moon a year ago. Mule skinners almost seemed like magicians, doing things that I didn't have any reference to achieve. I took a chance and accomplished my goal. This is really just the beginning of training Izzy. It'll be years before she's a finished animal, but I think I've got a leg up on her. He was an apple loser mule, just as fine as I'd seen. He could hollow low through the hills, full of plow just like a dream. You know, my dad gets a lot of real crazy ideas about all these crazy things he wants to do. But when he first started talking about getting a mule and breaking it, <laughs> hush, Rocky. I wasn't so sure he'd be able to. 